Welcome students to today's lecture on the fascinating field of medical nanotechnology and its applications in wound healing. Nanotechnology, derived from the Greek word nanos, meaning dwarf, involves the manipulation and control of materials at the nanoscale level, typically ranging from 1 to 100 nanometers. In recent years, nanotechnology has emerged as a promising approach for revolutionizing wound healing practices due to its unique properties and capabilities. Nanotechnology offers numerous advantages when employed in wound healing. By manipulating materials at the nanoscale, it allows for enhanced control over key wound healing processes, such as cell migration, proliferation, and tissue regeneration. Additionally, nanotechnology-based systems exhibit improved drug delivery capabilities, enabling targeted and sustained release of therapeutic agents to facilitate wound healing. To harness the potential of nanotechnology in wound healing, various nanoparticle synthesis techniques are employed. These techniques include bottom-up approaches like sol gel synthesis, dendromer synthesis, and template synthesis, as well as top-down approaches such as lithography and etching. Each technique offers unique advantages and can be tailored to produce nanoparticles with specific characteristics suitable for wound healing applications. Accurately characterizing nanoparticles is vital to comprehend their physical and chemical properties and to evaluate their applicability in wound healing. Various techniques can be employed for this purpose, including electron microscopy, dynamic light scattering, zeta potential measurements, and Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy. These techniques allow for a thorough understanding of nanoparticle attributes such as size, shape, surface charge, stability, and chemical composition. By utilizing these characterization techniques, researchers gain valuable insights into the nanoparticles' behavior and their potential to enhance wound healing processes. Nanomaterials, which are tiny particles made up of various substances like metals and polymers, have the potential to greatly improve wound healing. These materials have special characteristics that can help with important stages of wound healing, such as stopping bleeding, growing new tissue, and fighting off bacteria. They can also help to reduce inflammation, which is an important part of the healing process. Researchers are exploring the use of different types of nanomaterials like metallic nanoparticles, metal oxides, polymers, hydrogels, and nanofibers to find the most effective options for enhancing wound healing. One of the significant contributions of nanotechnology in wound healing lies in the development of nanoparticle-based drug delivery systems. These systems can encapsulate and deliver therapeutic agents directly to the wound site, ensuring controlled release, improved bioavailability, and reduced systemic side effects. Examples include liposomes, polymeric nanoparticles, and dendromers, which can transport antimicrobial agents, growth factors, and anti-inflammatory drugs. When nanoscale materials are used in wound healing, they can interact with the immune system in various ways. These materials can affect the activation of immune cells, the production of molecules called cytokines that regulate immune responses, and the level of inflammation present in the wound. All of these factors can have an impact on the overall healing process. Therefore, it is important to study and understand the immunological effects of nanoscale materials in order to develop wound healing interventions that are both safe and effective. In the field of tissue engineering and regenerative medicine, scaffold materials are of utmost importance for wound healing. Thanks to nanotechnology, we can now create scaffolds with extraordinary characteristics. These include better mechanical strength, controlled porosity, and surface functionality. These enhanced properties are vital for promoting cellular adhesion, migration, and ultimately the formation of new tissue. By harnessing the power of nanotechnology, we can revolutionize the way we approach wound healing and improve patient outcomes. When nanoscale materials come into contact with cells, they can have a profound impact on the healing process of wounds. This interaction occurs when tiny particles called nanoparticles interact directly with cells, altering their behavior and functions. These changes can include cell proliferation, or growth, cell migration, the movement of cells, and cell differentiation transforming into specialized cell types. Gaining a deeper understanding of these cellular interactions is crucial for effectively using nanotechnology to enhance wound healing outcomes. Smart wound dressings incorporating nanotechnology have advanced the field of wound care. These dressings can respond to physiological cues, such as pH, temperature, and moisture, facilitating appropriate wound healing conditions while minimizing complications. Additionally, nanotechnology allows for the incorporation of antimicrobial agents, growth factors, and diagnostic sensors within the dressing for enhanced healing and monitoring capabilities. Nanotechnology has also contributed to the development of innovative diagnostics and monitoring tools for wound healing. Nanostructured sensors, biosensors, and imaging techniques enable real-time monitoring of wound healing progression, infection detection, and evaluation of therapeutic efficacy. 
These tools offer valuable insights and personalized treatment options for clinicians. In the context of nanotechnology-based wound healing, regulatory considerations play a vital role in ensuring the safety and effectiveness of these innovative interventions. Regulatory bodies are responsible for evaluating the ethical concerns, long-term implications, and overall efficacy of nanotechnology applications in wound healing. This evaluation is necessary to guarantee the delivery of safe and efficient healthcare to patients. By assessing various aspects of nanotechnology, such as its safety profile and potential benefits, regulatory bodies contribute to the advancement of wound healing practices. To successfully bring nanotechnology-based wound healing interventions into clinical practice, several key factors must be considered. One of the primary challenges is scaling up production to meet the demand for these advanced treatments. Additionally, ensuring that the materials used are biocompatible and safe for patients is of utmost importance. Cost-effectiveness is another critical aspect that needs to be addressed to make these interventions accessible to a wider population. Finally, regulatory compliance is essential to ensure that the nanotechnology-based products meet all necessary safety and efficacy standards. Overall, translating nanotechnology into clinical settings for wound healing requires overcoming various obstacles to bring these innovative therapies to patients in need. In conclusion, medical nanotechnology holds immense potential in revolutionizing wound healing practices. Through the manipulation of materials at the nanoscale, nanotechnology offers unique opportunities for enhanced control over wound healing processes, drug delivery, tissue regeneration, and diagnostics. However, further research, collaboration between disciplines, regulatory considerations, and clinical translation are essential to harness the full potential of nanotechnology in improving patient outcomes in wound healing.